Hi everyone, it's Desiree. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me for another video. Today I'm going to set up my budget planner for October. Also, some things in my cash envelope system that I need to change out and set up. But first I'm going to focus on my budget planner. So I just wanted to go over my budget planner a little bit because I've had a few questions about it. So I'm currently using pieces of Happy Planner. That's what I'm doing. I have discs from the Happy Planner. They're actually the mini discs. This cover is from the Happy Planner. And I don't think this one's available anymore, but they have a bunch of different options on their site. So I'll have those linked. And then I'm using these monthly pages right here. This is from a planner that I was using the inside, like the weekly pages from. I wasn't using the monthlies. So I just took only the monthlies out of the planner, which let me grab a happy planner. Yeah, if you're not familiar with uh, the happy planner system, it is a disc bound system. And basically what I did was, cause the, the monthlies tend to look the same in these planners. Uh, I just took this divider page and then this page right, oops, not this page, this page right here out. And I actually took these pages to work these um, checklist pages. So I use those at work. So that's why I didn't need these monthly ones. Um, so that's what I did. I'm just taking the dividers, the monthly section out of a planner that I wasn't using them in. Uh, so that's one way to repurpose. If you have a planner and you, you know, haven't used the weeklies or the monthlies, you can always repurpose them that way. And I've been using them to track like my budget stuff on here. So um, that's where I got these, these sections here. So I'm going to set this up now and I'm going to use a couple of sticker books. I have monthly pastel boxes from Mojo Jojo plans. And then I also have save now, spend later from the happy planner. I'm going to use a combo of these two, and then I'm going to set up the inside part for the rest of what I do for this budget planner. Um, I felt like I needed to make my own system because I wasn't finding what I wanted, especially for like the cash envelopes. So this has been working out pretty nicely for me. So yeah, I'm continuing on with this setup. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put down all the bills that I have due this month. Sorry, I kind of have a lot going on on this desk. I'm trying to move things around. All right, so I'm going to use this monthly pastel boxes and just use the boxes. I'm probably just going to go to this page back here. I like to use these thinner boxes for my bills. And I've been color coordinating them depending on when I get paid. So that's been working out nicely too. So I'm actually going to start um with one color here i get paid on tuesdays and then when it hits tuesdays i'm going to change to a different color so hopefully that makes sense but i'm just going to start with this like pinky red color here because i do on the first have a couple of bills due so one and two okay so here i have rent, and then one of my credit cards, okay, and then the next bill I have is on the 4th, so since I get paid on Tuesday, I'm going to change the color because now this paycheck is going to be where I'm pulling out these bills, that's kind of how I've been doing it, all right, so, just dropping my papers, now I'm going to grab this next color because I don't want the same color, I want a different color, to put on the fourth. I'm actually going to take these out. Because that's the great thing about the discount system. You can take things out, put these back in, and you're good. All right, so the fourth is my internet. So Cox. The next bill I have is the seventh, so that's still within this paycheck. So I'm going to do another orange little box. And do this is Amazon Prime. Amazon. 
and then they have the eighth which is apple for like you know apple storage so it's only like a couple bucks some apple i'm actually also going to get rid of these holidays because i don't need them on the page for what i'm doing I think somebody had mentioned something about like, oh, you should keep the holidays because, you know, the holidays, the bank might be closed, but um, I don't track that kind of stuff on here. I do that if, if there's a holiday, I do that on my other planner. So we have eight. And then now I'm, the next bill I have due is the 11th. So it's past this Tuesday paycheck. So I'm going to use a different color, which is this yellowy color. And this one is my other credit card. So I only have two credit cards left to pay off. Next is SDG&E, which is electricity. Oh, oh. I actually just got an email that they're giving us a credit for whatever reason. So I'm excited about that because I think my bill was going to be like $80 because I was using the AC. And now it's going to be maybe $20 they're giving us like a $60 credit so yeah that's exciting um oh I have one more bill on the 11th actually let me do Geico that's so funny I thought actually I don't know if I thought Geico was due the 8th I'm actually gonna put it on the 9th no the 8th I always know of it being on the 8th I guess, you know, sometimes they hit your, I was going off of like when it actually hit my bank account, but I know that my, it's due on the 8th. So I'm going to put it here. It must've took a, take, it, it must've taken a long time for it to process. Geico. Okay. And then the 14th is Verizon. So Verizon. And the 15th is Zoom, so that's still with the yellow. 15th, Zoom. Um, 16th is Dental. Still in that one, Dental. And then the 19th, so this will be a new color, so I'm going to go with this green color. The 19th, which is my magic key, which is my Disney Pass. And then Disney Plus is the next day. They come out like right next to each other, which is funny. So that's Disney Plus. And then I have the 22nd, which is my renter's insurance, rent insurance, and then 25th is Spotify. Okay, so that's a new payday. So I'm gonna use, I think I wanna use this purple color. I don't think I've used this purple color actually. So the 25th is Spotify. 28th is Canva. I actually need to like just do the um, the yearly one on this. I don't know why I haven't done that, but I'm gonna do the yearly. So I don't have to, I think you get a little bit of a discount if you do that. And then the last one is Adobe, which will be this one here, Adobe. Okay, so that's everything that's coming out of my bank account, fun. All right, next I'm gonna go into this sticker book because I really like the little, um, these little dollar sign stickers to use for my paydays. And then like what I do during the month is when a bill gets paid, I'll just write the amount in here. 
that's kind of like my way of knowing, okay, it's been, it's out of my bank account and we're done. And then I know like how much came out. Cause some of them are like exactly the same every month. Um, but some, you know, are variable and like this Spotify one just went up, I think a dollar or two recently. So that one changed for me, um, in September. So things like that, just to track like how much they are. Oh, I just canceled Cricut. So that one's no longer on my, uh, my bills due anymore. We'll see how that works out. Cause I'm pretty sure I'll be fine. Cause I don't really use any of their extra stuff. So if I have any issues like printing stickers or anything like that, I'll let you guys know, but I think it should be okay. So I'm going to coordinate like the colors with the corresponding colors that will go for that that paycheck where the bills are coming out of. So like for instance, these are orange, so I'm gonna do a little orange, a little sticker here. And then I will write in how much I got paid um, for that day. That fluctuates too because I take days off, sometimes I use PTO, sometimes I don't use PTO. Um, so yeah, it fluctuates. And then yeah, I'm just gonna put all the coordinating ones here. This one be purple. I'll use this color, it's kind of purpley. And then I get paid here, so I'm gonna start over on the red on this one for the next month. There's five paydays this month, which is exciting. Okay, cool. Oh, and then I have a couple more I wanna note for now that I know I get paid. So the first one will be the 7th, which actually won't be until the 9th. And I'll just coordinate the colors too. But these I don't really use to pay my bills. So I'm just going to put them in here anyways. Uh, and then the other one is the 21st. So I think the 23rd. Okay, Because they usually don't pay on the weekend. Oops. Okay, do that one here. Cool. All right, so that is it for setup of my monthly. I'm gonna put that back in my planner. Okay. Okay, so that is good to go. I really like doing this um, with the color coding, with the stickers and all that. It's, it's been working out very nicely. So definitely recommend doing that if you like to track where your money's coming out of like what check. This has been a nice way to say it because that, that way like on, on this payday, I know like, okay, these bills are coming out of this paycheck. Yeah, it's just been nice to do it that way. It's been working out nicely. All right, so next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up the sheets that I put inside of, the, of this planner. So what I usually do is I have my trackers, I have my cash planning sheets, which I actually made these on Canva and I know I, I've been saying I'm gonna put them up for sale right now though if you're interested in getting them they're current like I'm putting them up on my patreon right now because they're helping me to like finalize the designs and I want to make sure like they actually um like they can print them and there's not any issues so right now like this is available on my patreon if you join at the lowest tier you get access to it and also if you want like a different size, because right now I'm only, I only have the classic for the classic size for the happy planner and the big size for the happy planner because somebody had requested a big one. So those are the ones I have up there. And then for the discount, um, cause I use a discount planner, uh, but I don't know, I, I, I could do some for the other sizes. I just, I've never done the other sizes. So it would be nice to test out if you're interested, but yeah, definitely if you're, if you want to get your hands on this like right now right now join my patreon and i do have the download for this on there right now um but i have these little cash planning sheets which you can print front and back too so you when you do that download it's a front and back um two pages that you can do that easily on your printer i actually wanted to trim down one of this one right here so this is what it's going to look like when you print it uh, so it just prints on like a regular sheet of paper and then you have to just trim it all down. And if you, it, it's pretty easy to do it as long as you have 
the measurements, which you can Google them or you can measure it yourself on if you have a happy planner. But it's going to be a seven by nine and a half on these. So what I normally do is I go, I trim this side first and I just kind of eyeball it to be honest on this side. Just give myself like a little gap over here and trim that out, cut it down. And then over here, then I'll have to measure this side because this is going to have to be seven inches on this side. I'm still learning how to use this trimmer because it's not my favorite, but I like the way it cuts. All right, so this plate is seven. Okay, and then I'm going to trim the top off. So this is another like eyeballing situation here. Just trying to get it straight and a good amount off. Okay, so there's that. And now this side I'm going to trim down to nine and a quarter on this one. So nine and a quarter is about here. That ish, yeah. Okay, oops, sorry. And then trim that down. And that is going to be the size that I'm gonna need for my classic happy planner. And got my punch, and I'm just gonna punch this with the holes. I got this punch from the happy planner too. They have um they have some on their site. And also in stores, I've seen them at Joann's. You can get you get them pretty cheap with a coupon because they're kind of expensive. All right, so let me put this in because I printed out three sheets of these front and back because there's going to be five weeks in here. So I'm going to need five weeks worth of cash planning. So those are my sheets that I use to cash plan, figure out like the denominations and the breakdowns and all that. So there's that. And then the other thing I'm figuring out right now, I haven't put these up on my Patreon yet, but I will probably next month. So this will be another download that I'm working on. Again, I'm trying to still finesse it a little bit. Um, and then I'm going to put it up and then see if there's any tweaks. I don't like the, the lettering right there. And I don't like, there's some things I want to fix. But for now, it'll work. So I have these. I'm going to just push these in here. And then those are my, this is my sinking funds tracker. So I like to track like all my sinking funds and how much I have, like how much I put in and then the balance in each one. Because those do tend to grow during the week, um, especially like my long-term sinking funds and this and, and that kind of stuff. So I like to just see, like if you look in the back over here, I like to see like this week, um, like the amounts, how they grow, like, uh, let's see, what's a good one to look at? Like electronics, this one had 257 at the beginning of the month. And then electronics over here has 277. And then the last time I filled it, now I have 292. So just to see like the amounts. And then some of them have less because I spend a lot from my short term ones. So. Yeah, I just like to track it. Also, I like to track it because um, usually my envelopes, my binders are in a safe. And instead of having to like go through the safe and grab them and see them, I can just reference this sheet, um, which is always on my desk. Okay, cool. So that's about it when it comes to my budget planner. That's kind of my setup right now for this. So that is good to go. Now I do have some things I need to set up in my actual binder system. So I'm gonna grab these right here. And let's see, I think the first thing I'm gonna start with, I haven't been doing this recently, but I need to start doing it. Okay, this is my little rent tracker. I made another rent tracker, but I need to laminate it still. Oh wait, I was supposed to print it out on vellum. You know what, I think this month I'm just gonna do, um, I'm just gonna do it on paper and just stick it in here and color it in. But usually I, I do a vellum one. So that way I can just, you know, use some, I think nail polish remover or alcohol or something and just remove the Sharpie and then reuse it. But I kind of didn't want to do that because I was running out of time. So we're going to just track this way. So this month is a magic month for me. 
gifts, which is nice. So um, I need to save 280 out of each of my full-time paychecks. I need to save 280 out of each of those. And then I need to save my usual 500, which I pull from my YouTube income and then also my Patreon income. And that's gonna get me my rent for, which is 2,400. Uh, so that I will be tracking that in my videos moving forward. Um, so yeah, that'll be good. All right, so the next thing I need to do, sorry, I think I have a lot to do in this video. I didn't realize that. So it's gonna be a nice long one which is nice. All right, so the next thing I need to do is I do have some trackers that I need to kind of replenish in here. So I'm just gonna go through my binders and see like this one's good. It's not full yet, but if I find one that's full or if I've written on a back, then I need to replace it. Okay, so, so far so good. Also, I printed these, like I had printed some of these front and back, which was nice. And I can't remember how I did that. So yeah, I need to figure out how I did that so I can do that again. And this is something else I will plan on like putting up as a download. But I wanna figure out the front and back situation first. All right, so this is family. This one I've been writing on the back. So I want to switch this one out to family. Okay, so I'm just gonna write family up here. And then the balance on this one is 45. So I'm just gonna write 45. So that one is good. Stick that in here. Okay, then we got, oh, fun. I never put one in fun, that's right, I kept forgetting. So fun is finally gonna get a tracker. And fun now has 20, 30, 35. $35. Cool. Holiday decor needs one. Holiday decor. And this one has 47. Home decor is good. Household is towards the end, so I'm just gonna get a new one. Household has 32. And I just toss these or recycle them. Um, but yeah, I just get rid of those. Don't need them anymore. Okay, so that one is all good too. Next is this one right here. Okay, auto repair is good. Christmas is good. That one's good. Emergency is good. Good, good, good. Oh, registration. That one needs one. So registration. Which has 190. Oop, I'm just 192 for some reason. Okay, so that one's good. I'm almost done with this envelope. I'm excited because it's not due till March and I'm like almost there. I feel like next month I'll be able to do it. Fill it completely. Treat yourself needs one. That one's getting full too. So treat yourself. And then this one has 1,161. That's it for that one. And then I think the only tracker I have in here is this one, which is good. Yeah, I think that's it. But I do have to do one thing in here though. Okay, so these I'm gonna keep hold on for next time. And I'm going to, so I'm not ready yet to finish this challenge yet because I still have one stuffing left, but I do want to at least add in this challenge so I have it for next time to start. Um, yeah, so let me do that now. Actually, I was gonna get a new little thing, but you know what, I don't need to do that. I can just put it here. I'll just put it behind here. I just have to remember I did that. 
But yeah, this is the um, savings challenge from Plan with Elise. So this is always linked down in my description. I have a code too if you want to use that. But it's just like a, a year long savings challenge. It's just a $5 one that I've been really enjoying using and doing every month. So um, September almost done with that one. And then I can move into the October little pumpkins, which will be cute to fill in. Okay, I think that's everything. I think I'm finished. Okay, so thank you, thank you, thank you so much. If you've been watching, if you watched all the way to the end, I appreciate you joining and watching me set up my budget planner for October. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you like to see more content like this or also planner related content. I have a lot of planner related content on my channel. Um, but yeah, hope you liked it and I hope to see you in the next video.